start again. Go lengthways and get into the vein. Two number five! Make sure you're swinging on the loop. Uh, Roosters or kettles, either one in the bath is fine. So this week we're asking the question that has been on every gay man's lips at one point or another in the past. And that is... That is... What has Tina Turner and Cher done for our lives? And how have they changed them? And how have they made us feel good in the morning? And how have they helped us to become the women of today? And how have they made so many children walk around stinking a piss? I mean, that's beyond me, I don't know what that's about, but you know, what can you do? I don't know about you, but Cher taught me that if she could turn back time, and if she could find a way, she'd take back them words that she thought had hurt you. Well that's good, I mean it's nice to know she can show some sorrow in that for what she's done. And you'd say, if I could reach the stars. Well, if I could, but I can't because I'm the short one, so even on stilts I'd struggle if I'm honest. Well, you are on stilts. Oh, well, I definitely would struggle then. It's still the hydraulics that, you know, Stevie was after. Well, I remember the time I was sat around having a drink with Tina Turner, you know, having a laugh as friends do. And when you become such good friends with someone, they really do help teach you some valuable lessons. Mm -hmm. It's like the time she was teaching me about the Nutbush City Limits, and I was like, that is really essential information. What because, did you learn? Well, I learned about the limits and what they can and can't do. I mean, I learned they go as far as scat fetish, but bruising, they weren't up for it. Well. Which is strange, really, but I mean, what could you do? I mean, they're into a bit of water sports, but I mean, it isn't. Well, I don't know about you, Personally, Tina taught me that there is a river deep and a mountain high. Oh my God. Yeah. That's so good of her. I, I found that so, so repetitive because she said it quite a few times in the song. I mean, it made it easy on karaoke, but wow. I just, I mean, I just found it so easy to be repetitive. I mean, I just found it so easy to be repetitive. I mean, I found it so easy to be repetitive. Did ya? Did ya? Did ya? Well, the final piece of information that Cher taught me was how to give a good blowjob. I mean, first of all, she did suggest injecting your lips with 10,000 gallons of cooking oil. Well, once they've sagged over about 110 years, then you'll be absolutely fine to go ahead um, stick some chips in. Well, stick some chips in, stick, you know, whatever you want in, really. Yeah. Sunny. Hot dogs. Sunny. Yeah. Barbara yeah. Windsor. Yeah. You name it, you can stick it in. And you know what? That was the most inspirational piece of information that anyone has ever taught me. And since then, it's changed my career. And I'm just making so much more money now, so it's just absolutely fantastic. I think that's amazing. Information, yeah. That's fucked. <laughs> Steve.